Hi ladies, this is Martika and I'm going to attempt to do a tutorial on how to do um, a, uh, a 3D canvas. Um, this is what I'm going to try to do or something like this. It's not going to be exactly like this, but how to do this. How to, especially how to start it. Uh, some of you girls asked me to do a tutorial. I'm not good at tutorials, so I don't know how it's going to come out, but I hope it would uh, help in explaining thoroughly how to do this, okay? Uh, and first, we're going to start with, um, with the canvas. This one is a uh, I believe it's an 8x10 or something um, canvas and I have a gift box like this okay and a pencil exacto knife and a pair of scissors um, what we're gonna do is the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a hole in the middle now mind you you can make the hole here you know anywhere on the canvas wherever you would like it I normally just do it in the middle um, I'm not gonna measure or anything um, I'm pretty good at eyeballing it but if you guys want to measure to make sure it's in the center go ahead and do so um, what we do is we turn the canvas around and we'll just go ahead and put the box wherever it is that you want the box to go and I'm just gonna do it right there in the middle and we're gonna we're gonna trace it so that we know where we're gonna put the hole and I'm gonna do this trace the back it doesn't matter you can make a mistake back here it's not gonna show like so and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the exacto knife and make a hole in the center of it. Um, okay. And um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut on the inside of my traced mark because what I really want is for the hole to be just a little tiny smaller than the actual box. We don't really want the box to go through the canvas. We want it to where the canvas itself will, will it, it would just lie on the edges of the box so that when you're ready to glue it, it'll have somewhere where it could be glued at, okay? I hope I, I made sense there. Mind you, again, I'm not good at trait at, um, you know, at, what do you call it? A, a tutorial so this is really almost like my first one I did one a long time ago of a, a pocket on um, a paper bag but that was so it was just like a few minutes a couple of minutes and it was just to do the pocket it was a pocket but that's the only other tutorial I've done if you want to call it a tutorial but anyway here is so far um, my um, my hole. Now, mind you, another friend of mine said, you know, that I can go ahead and do something like this, cut it something like that, and then just fold it over. But uh, I haven't tried it yet, and I rather do what I've been doing to do the tutorial, and then experiment with something else. Um, so, so far, this is how I went ahead and did the hole. It doesn't have to be exact because it's going to be hidden anyway. You're going to be putting paper and paint and all that nice stuff. So, um, it's no, you know, it's no big deal. I sometimes go ahead and, um, use some, g g uh, g is it gesso or gesso or something? on the canvas um, but anyway here is the hole okay now this box is just gonna go right here and even now you see how it okay 
that's how it's going to be. The box is going to lie like that in, on the back. Now, our next step is we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to paint it. Okay? We're going to paint the box, the canvas, I'm sorry. We're going to paint the canvas. And uh, let's see. So just bear with me and we'll continue. Okay, so here is some paint that I'm going to be using to do this. Um, mind you, you can use any color paint. It's, it's up to you. Um, it's up to you what is what's the design that you want but the colors that I'll be that I'm using on this is the celery green from Americana acrylic paint and the uh, rose pink from folk art which you can get this in Joann's Michael's you know any craft store um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour some on a piece of um, cardstock here or just a, a piece of scrap or something and I'm really I'm just gonna do this to it I'm not gonna go all out I'm just gonna paint it like this okay I'm just gonna get the the, the color like this cuz I'm gonna I'm gonna mix the two colors together okay um, like so really really are like a rustic looking I don't want anything too perfect and what's really good about this is there's no mistakes there's no way that you can make a mistake you know you're just gonna go ahead and paint across like this okay let me see let me pour just a tiny little bit of more okay tiny bit more like so okay now I'm gonna go ahead and get my pink now mind you I don't even know what this is gonna look like because that's the way I work I don't you know I just do it and uh, I'm gonna use the same sponge because it's it's gonna be on top and I'm gonna see how this works how this is gonna look okay like so now I'm gonna do that like that I'm gonna just put a little bit of the pink tone all over it like so kind it looks kind of muddy but it's okay I mean I'm gonna cover it all with with you know flowers and and all of that so I'm not gonna worry about it too much now mind you I usually pick my my paper first if I use paper I'm gonna go ahead and um, and check out what paper now mind you look what it looks like a little bit muddy but it's okay you know I can fix it later um, you have to let it dry um, okay okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna continue okay I'm gonna continue painting the edges here okay like so with the pink okay I'm gonna go ahead and just do that uh, I think I'm just gonna do the pink and then go ahead and um, put a splash of green on top of it or something I don't know I play around with it I don't know what the <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't know what the final outcome is going to be yet. So, and and this is just, um, a, you know, a tutorial just to give you guys some kind of an idea of, um, you know, how to how to go about doing this. That's basically what I'm doing. I mean, it's not really. I don't expect you guys to, um, you know, to do this exactly because obviously you might not have the um, the what do you call it the the supplies that I have is just to give you a basic idea of how to do this and then you're on your own and you can you know um, do it with your creativity and your style okay so anyway so here is my um, 
my canvas, okay, that's what it looks like so far. It looks pretty yucky, okay, nothing wow. I'm hoping to use this paper. 